In this video, we'll be covering the single Terha model that is uh, in the capital market expectations reading. So the single Terha model is used to calculate the ex uh, expected return of an asset class or we can use it to estimate the risk premium of the asset class. So if you want to estimate the return of the asset class I, then it's approximately equals to the risk fee rate plus the risk premium. Now, however, under the single Terha model, we assume that there are two different markets, okay, one where the asset class is perfectly integrated with the global investable market, GIM, and the other part is when the asset class is perfectly segmented. So, of course, based on the degree of integration and the degree of segmentation, we will calculate the weighted average of the risk premium under each market. So, if the asset class is perfectly integrated with the GIM, then the risk premium will be estimated using the correlation between the asset class and the GIM or the global market portfolio times the standard deviation of the asset class multiplied by the sharp ratio of the global market portfolio. So this is the risk premium of the global market portfolio over its standard deviation. Now for the risk premium of the perfectly or completely segmented market, We'll ju it'll just be 1, so we assume the correlation is equal to 1 because the market is closed. Okay, so the asset class will just be correlated with itself, multiplied by the standard deviation of the asset class, and multiplied by the sharp ratio of the segmented market. Now let's look at one example here. We have uh, the UK equity, and we have uh, the UK equities correlation with global market, which is 0 0.9. Volatility of UK equity is 23% with a segmented market sharp ratio of 0 0.2, the global market sharp ratio is 0 0.22, the degree of integration is uh, 75%, so which means the degree of segmentation is 25%. The risk fee rate is 3.5%, so calculate the expected return of UK equity using the single Terha model. So what we'll do is we'll calculate the risk premiums under the two different uh, uh, segments okay one is a perfect integration and one is a complete segmentation so let's start off with the first one okay which is uh, perfect integration okay integration with the global market so the risk premium okay in this case for the UK equity will be the correlation which is 0 0.9 times the volatility of the asset class 23% times the sharp ratio of the global market 0 0.22 Alright, so if we compute this, this will be equals to 4.554%. Alright, and then uh, under complete segmentation, the risk premium okay, uh, would be equals to 1 times 23%. So remember the correlation is always set to 1. And then the sharp ratio is based on se the segmented market, which is 0 0.2. So this would be equals to 4.6%. Now, based on these two risk premiums, we'll then take the weighted average. So that would be 75% based on the degree of integration times the risk premium under a perfect integration scenario. So that's a 4.554%. Then plus uh, uh, 100 minus 75, that would be 25% times uh, the risk premium under a completely segmented market. All right, so this will be equals to 4.5655%. All right, so that's the risk premium uh, of UK equity under the single Terha model. But if you want to estimate the expected return, then the expected return, in this case, this will be R sub I, will be equals to 3.5% plus the risk premium 4.5655%. So that will be equals to 8.0655%.